So post-match after the uh, Hull Stingrays game with general manager Jamie Longmuir and Jamie I think it's fair to say it was a, a Jekyll and Hyde performance from the Vipers tonight. It was a road reversal for last week wasn't it so it was a uh, it was much nicer to, to obviously get the two points this week after after the disappointment of last weekend um, obviously a good one midweek against Nottingham as well coming from behind so um, to do it again tonight for, for four nothing down you know it says a lot about the character in the team and, and we always know that it's that it's been there with the, the results in Belfast and stuff earlier in the season, but obviously the last last couple of results, you know, against Edinburgh were disappointing. So it's nice to nice to rebound tonight. Could you put your finger on anything why it, it just wasn't happening for the first half of the game or so? No, I mean I, th- I thought we we did have some chances. Their goalie made some good saves. They were obviously they capitalised in the chances that they had, and you know it's games like tonight where we've we've sort of you know fell apart after sort of going four nothing down, but. And it, and it could have happened again tonight, but you know the guys dug deep, got that sort of crucial first goal, and that gave us some gave us some belief going into the third period. And you know we've we've seen all week, you know teams teams coming from behind. We did it obviously in, in Nottingham, yeah. um, Edinburgh did it against us, Belfast did it against Sheffield. So you can score goals, you know, quickly in this league. And unfortunately tonight we were we were able to take advantage of that. And in the third period, uh, one of the recent additions, Brent Hughes, two goals. And the winning penalty shot seems to have settled in very well. He's been terrific, and he's a he's a great guy as well. You know, he's really f- come in and great attitude. Wants to work hard. Wants to be here. Um, he's he's been a pleasure to work with. I can't I can't say enough about him and, and Ryan Jordy for that matter. Both guys have come in. You know, we were struggling at the time, and they've come in and and really you know jumped in with the guys, and and you know they want to win, and, and it's great. Their, their enthusiasm, I think, has really helped, and it, I think that's sort of come through tonight, and you saw Brent sort of, you know, shouldering the load the, tonight, and, you know, it's great to have him here. And looking ahead, it's a, a, re- a rest Sunday off tomorrow, and then next weekend, obviously, away to Sheffield on the Friday, Saturday, at home to Sheffield, we'll talk about that in a second, and then uh, another away game, Edinburgh, so it's it, it's all happening again next weekend. Well, as now, now we're in a sort of crucial run, you know, we, we play Hull, Edinburgh, Sheffield quite a lot the next few weeks, and, and that's going to shape who plays who in the playoffs, so that they're all important games, we're all jockeying for position, it's nice for us to, to move up the standings tonight, um, obviously next weekend's a big one, two games against Sheffield, we'll go there Friday night, we'll be looking to try and get something out of that and then obviously the big one here on Saturday the bash at the bay yeah. against Sheffield and you know I thought the crowd tonight were, were tremendous even at 4 nothing. I thought they were a major major factor in this coming back it was really loud tonight the fans were into it and you know that's what we're hoping to try and achieve next next week as well So just a quick word then about the bash at the bay next Saturday obviously the elite league game against Sheffield but there's a pre-game skate Yeah we'll get the pre-game skate that you know the guys will actually be going on the ice with the fans and stuff meeting the fans signing autographs and stuff so it's something a bit different you know so it's we're, we're trying to encourage as many fans to come down as possible meet the guys and, and get involved in the night we want to make it a real you know sort of party atmosphere next next Saturday night and, and try and make it something a bit different and you know it, this place whilst it's got its critics you know in terms of the facilities and stuff the one thing you can't question is the is the atmosphere and noise level and tonight you know sort of 800 fans in tonight and you'd have thought it was sort of three four thousand so next week we're, we're trying to get two thousand fans in hopefully mm-hmm. everyone gets behind it buys in and, and tries to make it a special occasion and and let's you know let's really try and use that to as a launch pad for the rest of the season as we as we go to the playoffs, hopefully hopefully David will be back in the lineup for next Saturday as well. I don't think we'll play on Friday. It depends how he responds to treatment this week, but hopefully Saturday we'll be back in the lineup and then we've got a squad that we feel, you know, we've, we've, we've proven this season that we can beat we can beat every team in the league. We've got winning records against Nottingham and Belfast and you know we've got, we've just got to try and you know carry that on the remainder of the season and it's one of these teams we're going to be playing so we need to be ready to go. Brilliant stuff. Thank you very much Jimmy. Thanks Kate. Uh, so that's the Bash at the Bay next Saturday. Vipers against Sheffield Steelers. Pre-game skate with the players. Ticket details from the Vipers office 261-0909 or on the website vipershockey.co.uk We hope you've enjoyed this week's uh, Vi- VTV. It's produced for the Vipers by Gated College Media Productions and we'll see you next week.